Today, we're gonna take a look at this uh, digital caliber that I purchased here on Amazon. Now, this is my first impression. This is the first time I've looked at it. Comes really nicely packaged. Let's just slide the little sleeve off. And you guys can see it's a nice, semi-rigid uh, plastic case for it. Now, this just pops open like so. And you can kind of see some of the things that are right here inside of the box. Now, the first thing we're greeted with is, you know, some friendly tips when using this. We get our manual that comes with it as well. We get what I believe to be a second or spare battery. This is just one of the little three volt batteries that you would use for this device. And it also comes with the screwdriver because you actually have to unscrew this in order to switch out the battery. So you can just kind of leave that in there if you're not gonna be using it or something like that. And of course, you know what this gel is for just to help keep everything dry. Now, here's our actual caliber. And I can tell you right now, guys, I can feel the weight of this. This is all metal, okay? So this is an all metal caliber. And this one does have an IP54 rating. So that means this one is waterproof. Now you have the ability to measure in three different modes. You have your millimeters, you have your inches, and you also have your fractions, okay? You have an on and off button here, but this will also automatically turn off. You have a zero button here, you have a locking pin, and you have kind of this adjustment here uh, for just kind of rolling it back and forth up and down the, uh, the measurements. Now this is 150 millimeter uh, length for this caliber. This also has a depth uh, measuring uh, device here on the back, which is that little rod that you see coming out here. So if you wanted to measure inside of something, how deep it is, that's what you would use. And you also get some measurement information here on the back that you know might be helpful to some. Now, like I said, this is all metal. You see there's two screws right here. Those are the two screws you would have to remove in order to replace the battery. So let's just turn this on and see what it looks like. So I'm gonna switch the battery out real quick and see if that makes any difference. All right, so here's the second battery. And that battery came on. So that means the battery that was in here was dead. Interesting. Okay, so let's put this back together. And we can take our one screw, put that back in. And let me tighten it down. All right, there we go. So that means this one battery that it shipped with inside of it was already dead. So I'll have to uh, maybe get some spare batteries for this just in case, but um, making sure everything else is tight as it should be. Yep. Okay. So you guys see here, I can zero this out. So now it is zeroed out. And of course we can turn this on and off because now it has a functioning battery. I can also switch between millimeters. We're in mil millimeters now to inches to fractions and, and so on. So because this is at zero and you see the jaws are completely closed, that means that, um, you know, well, let's get that back to zero here real quick. So that's Z zero. So if I wanted to measure, say for instance, this screwdriver, I could just open this up like this, put this inside of the jaws, and it will tell me that that is seven millimeter uh, 0.63. So this is seven millimeters 0.63 if you're measuring something from, ex from the exterior. Now, if you wanted to measure something interior, the inside of something, you actually use these, um, these little prongs here on, the, on this side. So those are gonna spread out like so, and then you would measure you know, something from here. Let me see if I have something. Uh, I don't have anything close. Oh, here's something. So let's just say I wanted to measure this uh, lens cap, right? So I could just open this all the way up until we get to that. So right now that lens cap is 54.86 millimeters. So if we switch that to inches, it is 2.1 inches uh, for this uh, in, inside of this uh, cap. And then if we wanted to, let's just zero that out again. And then we're gonna measure the outside of the cap like so. Let me zero that out. Okay, let's zero it out. And then we're gonna measure like that. And inches, this is 2.3 inches. And if I go to fractions, you guys can see what we have here with fractions. 
And if I go to millimeters, it's going to show that this is 58.5 millimeters. Now, if I want to measure the depth of this uh, cap, what I can do is I can zero this out again. And we have this little um, prong here at the bottom. So what you do here is you place this right on the edge and you just push this all the way down until that little tab right here touches the bottom. And it's going to tell you what the millimeters is. So that's six millimeters in depth inside of this uh, this lens cap. So now there's one other way to measure with one of these that most people don't know about. If you look at these jaws right here, as you start to move the jaws, you guys can see that there's a little ledge right here. So sometimes you need to know the depth of something. So you could do it this way as well. And you could just push that down to the base and then it's gonna give you your reading as well. So now that's saying that it's 9.4 if I'm doing it this way, where I'm just placing it on the side and then pressing it all the way down as far as it'll go. And it would be no different if I took, um, let's say this coaster. We could do basically the same thing with this coaster, bring it all the way down till it's flat, and it will show us what the height of the coaster is, which is 7.6. All right, guys, so hopefully someone, you know, watching this video has, uh, you know, gathered some information from this unboxing and me also having to uh, replace the battery in this uh, this little caliber. And if that's the case, I've done my job and I'm happy to have been able to provide that information. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next video.